Hey guys, ever have a flat top grillet that is totally rusted? I got one, it's in horrible shape, but I wanna use it on my smoke fire because it's the perfect fit for it. So we're gonna take this old rusted Blackstone. I think that's it. Yeah. We're gonna take this Blackstone and get it all cleaned up. It's been sitting on the side of the house in a little shed area for just about, what, maybe eight or nine months, right? And so we're gonna get it all cleaned up. It's seen all the elements. It's got some old uh, grass clippings on it. We'll get it all ground down. I'm gonna use these um, quick strip uh, uh, brushes, four and a half inch brushes on the DeWalt uh, angle grinder regular little chisel or a scraper, a flat stone bristle block, a flat stone bristle block, and I know it's in the package and we'll just take it out of the package. And it's just real chorus stone. We'll use it. We'll start the season in with some, uh, some olive oil. We'll go through the cycle process with all that and uh, we'll take it from there. Why don't you get us down close and let's see what it looks like. Cause it's in really bad shape. It's pretty bad. You can, yeah, you can just see that. It's really, really bad. But I think we can make it new again. We're just going to have to put a little elbow grease in it and, and hammer to it. I think the first couple things we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're gonna go ahead and scrape it and get all this dust um, out of the way as close as we possibly can. We're trying not to use any water on this while we do this process. Um, really trying to get just just get it scraped up. Then we'll season it down after it's sanded, but water is only gonna cause it to rust even more. This is a, um, a steel plate, it's not cast iron. Um, so it's going to rust if you leave it out in the elements, you don't get it seasoned well. We bought it, kind of forgot about it, it um, and ultimately that's where we've ended up so you guys stay tuned guys we got it ground down real quick didn't take but about 10 minutes at the max chewed through one battery on the dewalt 20 volt perfect one one battery one pad we put it on another little pad so we could get some we're gonna have to do the corners manually and um but we're gonna use this uh sanding stone our griddle stone and uh push through we'll uh, we'll see how this one continues to work out for us
almost done. We're gonna go ahead and get the edges a little bit better. I don't really love how well that stone got in and obviously the grinder doesn't get in there, but we'll go ahead and get, get these in real fast. Then we're gonna attach some propane, heat it up, and get it fairly warm and get some oil on it and get it, get it seasoned and in. It takes about three or four times to bring it up to temperature, let the oil kind of burn off and then recoat. You're kind of applying the coating as it goes and it will ultimately season this thing up pretty good. I'm looking forward to some smash burgers on it. I'm also looking forward to putting it on the smoke fire and be able to get some smoke flavor with my burgers. Keep watching and we'll show you how this turns out. Blowing another one. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Throwing some apple products too. Maybe we'll get it. <laughs> if we get some apple products, huh? Okay, so we're just gonna. I'm gonna do this with this towel like this until it's not dirty anymore. I'm just gonna keep wiping it. It looks worse now. It looks worse when it's, it, what's really crazy, you think it looks bad, right? It looks like moldy when it, yeah. when this is perfectly seasoned, seasoned, it'll be almost black all the way across. See, so we'll turn it. So we get four uses out of it. And then pull, pull a little bit more. <coughs> it's good for you. I'll make you build up an immunity. <laughs> okay, another napkin. Hey, bud. It's like it got calm out there. There's no breeze. It got hot in here. All right. All right, guys, we got it start started. It's all all lit up. Just heard that back side of it pop. We're sitting here. We're gonna cut it down one more time. We're basically just gonna put this stuff in. We want this oil to cook in. He's gonna boil it off. Yeah. Probably another two or three times up and down temperature, cool heat, cool heat. Keep applying some oil to it, let it season in. Then we'll take it to the backyard, and, or we might just do it in here. We've got to have some bacon for dinner, so we're gonna go ahead and throw some bacon on it tonight and make sure it gets all even greasier and yummy. See you shortly. We're almost done seasoning this uh, Blackstone griddle after we polished it and cleaned it all up. It's looking really good. We've got a nice little coat of oil burned in. It's going to be flavorful as all can be. We're going to go ahead and throw some bacon on it because we're hungry and we need some bacon for our baked potatoes tonight. Stay tuned. We'll let you see that bacon cook off. Anyhow, make sure you subscribe. Have a good night. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, are you Cowboys fan? No, not at all. Not anymore? No. <laughs> well, I am now. They fired Jason Garrett, so I am <laughs> I'm a, a fan again. Alright, man. This bacon. I'm going to focus in on that strip you just laid down. Listen, well, so nobody wants to sit here and watch us the whole time, do they? Yeah, they do. Well, here, here. Here's the towel. Nice snag. Catch everything. I've never had a drop in my life. Don't burn your tongue. <laughs> I just get the plate and put them all on the plate. Almost. Yeah, get that. Yep. Listen. Good fun project today, huh? Mm hmm Two hours. Good stuff. Easy peasy. Go ahead and turn the grill down. Hey guys, want a quick sneak peek at what we've been 
working on today I got it I'm gonna bring it over here show it to you we're heating up for some steaks tonight but I gotta show you this one perfect fit let me get you in tight so you guys can really see that oh yeah that's a full griddle all the way across we'll see you on the next one thanks